Oh, can we link it? Yes. Hold it. Uh, we're still on pavement, though, technically. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 6 in the GT 350R here at the Nuremberg Ring. I had a lot of fun drifting this car last time. We're just doing donuts right now. We're going to see how much of the ring we can drift here in this Mustang GT 350R. Now, I am using my full Logitech G920 wheel, 900 degrees of rotation with the NRG Innovations Minty Green and Nero Chrome wheel, 350 millimeters, hydraulic handbrake, six speed shifter, full gas brake and clutch, as well as I am sitting in my newly mounted NRG Innovations bucket seat that I received. If you guys watched the recent video, you know I received it from a sponsorship from NRG Innovations. So it is mounted now up on basically a pallet base. Um, Basically drilled four holes, run the bolts through the brackets, bolted them down with some washers, sc screwed the seat back into the uh, brackets, and now I'm up where I want to be. I don't feel so short like I was last time when I was sitting on the ground. So we're going to rivet here at Nuremberg and see what we can do in this GT350R. we go. Not looking so bad on the first turn right there. Our gear. Ooh, probably could didn't really need to drift that turn, but we already cracked our window, but we'll just keep getting it sideways here at Nuremberg in this Mustang. You know, giving this uh this seat a test run for sure. And it feels so comfortable. Definitely getting the handle here on Forza 6. Got, got a couple uh, more episodes here on Forza 6 that I want to do. Got a couple more subscribers that are recommending tunes to me that I want to showcase. Ooh. So I'm going to be doing a couple more subscriber tunes episodes here on Forza Motorsport 6. So if you guys have tunes you want me to try, comment GamerTang down below. Let me know what cars it is for. And uh, maybe I'll give your tunes a shot and throw them up here on the channel. Ooh. Just ripping through second gear there. The seat does feel so much better. It definitely feels more like a sim rig now. Uh, I mean, I did have a car seat in here before. Not a, not a child's car seat, like an actual automotive seat. But it didn't feel like a race car. So now that I have, you know, a bucket seat, it feels more like a race car. With the full quick release, energy innovations wheel, and, you know, the handbrake and everything. All I need is, like, a big roll cage around me, and I'll feel, like, perfectly at home. I think my girlfriend might get a little mad if I built, like, a roll cage around my sim rig probably look very weird too although i could mount my headset inside of a helmet oh jesus that took me off guard <laughs> as i was talking about a helmet i crashed into a wall when i probably needed it i could mount my headset inside of a helmet and wear a helmet when i drive Ooh, hold that out there nice Ooh, that was a nice turn but i think that would just look pretty ridiculous me wearing a helmet you know on a sim rig Although I know a lot of people do it when they're practicing, they wear gloves and helmets and such, but, you know, I'm not a hardcore racer like those guys are with, you know, the full motion rigs and stuff, which I would not object to having a motion rig, but those are expensive. Oh, can we link it? Yes. Hold it. Uh, we're still on pavement, though, technically. Woo. We held that. Nice. So impressed with the handling of this Mustang. It's a very mild tune, suspension-wise and such. But I did get the basic tune off this off one of my subscribers. So, you know, huge shout out to him. Whoa, oh boy. Ooh. If you don't know who he is, check out my recent subscribers tune video here on my channel. I'll leave the link in the description box below. He has some pretty solid tunes for a 240, especially for a wheel. Gives pretty good feedback. There we go, hold it out. And uh, this this tune that I'm running now is a basis of the tunes he had. Basically, I used his tunes and fine-tuned it a little bit for myself, but he definitely has, based on another comment another guy said, he's got the juice. 
here on Forza 6 with, you know, the nice buttery tune. Especially on a wheel, it has pretty good feedback where, like right there, I can let go of the wheel and it'll kind of spin back how it's supposed to. Just like in a Seto, which is, you know, very nice a feeling for sure. I was always having a hard time tuning cars here in Forza 6 for drifting, but now, you know, reaching out to subscribers, you know, trying out some different tunes from subs, you know, definitely uh, has changed my tuning game here in Forza 6 for drifting. I mean, as you can tell, I've uh, pretty much got a pretty s stable Mustang tune right now. It could be a little bit better, probably a little more power, but I am running about 500 horsepower on this car because it's a good, you know, stable horsepower. It's nothing outrageous that's going to make me spin out, but it's enough to get it sideways and stay sideways. Ooh, that curb messed me up, though. The grass! That turn got totally messed up from the grass. I'm blaming the grass, not, not my crap driving right now, but... Not doing as bad as I thought I was going to do here on Nuremberg, just drifting through, you know, the ring. It's going to be interesting trying to drift on the outside of the carousels coming up, you know, at the end of this track, but... Definitely something I enjoy doing. I, I did a uh, drift around the map in Forza Horizon 3. I was actually in Von Gittin Jr.'s Mustang on that as too. I'm starting to notice a trend here that I'm liking, you know, Von Gittin Jr.'s style Mustang. Because I did the drifting around, or the Horizon 3 map in you know, a GT350R, so, hmm, wondering if I'm, uh, conforming to that, no, no, I can't do that, I can't, can't ruin crowds, I like crowds too much, too, want to run into them, but, ooh, it does handle pretty well, the scenery is so amazing, I am so excited for Forza 7 coming out soon, if you guys are excited for Forza 7, make sure you comment down below, you know, are you guys getting it day release? You guys getting it after? You guys have, you know, full access, the unlimited package, you know, everything for Forza 7 when it comes out. Are you guys excited for that? You know, let me know in the comments section down below because I know I'm definitely excited for it. Try to drift the outside of this. Or inside. Oh, I think we three wheeled it, but we didn't spin out. We saved it. We three wheeled it. We're good. Mustangs are allowed to three wheel. Especially in the Formula D with Chelsea Danilfa and Vaughn's car. Oop, probably should have stayed in third gear there. Still good though. Oop, curb check. Oh, missed the wall though. I think it might be, uh, I have some tire issues now. I can't remember if I have tire wear on or not, but this car is getting a little, a little bit more of a handful now. There we go. Oh, save it. Just one tire off. Might have been two tires, but we still saved it. There we go. Ooh, nice throw in. And get out there. Stay on the track. Not gonna happen. It's all right. Just come back around. We're good. Oh, too much e-brake there. Oh, kind of lost control of where I was at. And we almost got stuck on that. Just notice through the back window. Kind of looks like the seats I'm in is in this Mustang. I know it's not, but wouldn't that be sweet? You know, rocking energy seats inside the Mustang. Like Forza nose. Alright. Come to the final parts of this ring here. So we can't get some more good slides in. We might hop over to another track to get some more slides in before we end this episode off because I'm having a little bit too much fun right now. So we'll see how much time we got left in this episode. Ooh, no grip race. Nope. Thing is not set up for grip. Maybe we could grip Vonzi right there. You know, track style. I'm just gonna rip the e-brake there, but I decided not to. I'm gonna set this turn up. A little faint. A little e-brake. There we go. Yes. 
so much nicer. I'm ex in second. So glad that I came back to Forza 6, drifting on tracks. It's it's so much more fun than drifting the same map, but I do like Horizon 3, don't get me wrong. The street drifting aspect is fun and, you know, tandems, but I've been missing uh, track racing and, you know, being on tracks in designated areas, so so I'm glad I'm back here on Forza Motorsport 6. Let's see if we can not spin out coming through this long stretch. Maybe we should try Manji this thing. Manji? Manji the street! Ooh! Getting a little Manji, got a little scared there. Not gonna lie, I got scared! Just tap! Oh, I just thought it was gonna be just a wall tap. Got the grass. Definitely good now. Definitely not having shifter issues today. I don't know why I ripped that. That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. That's more than just a tap. We're gonna be able to save this. Final few turns here. Rip this through. Ooh, that's a lot sharper than I thought. Final few turns here at the ring. Did a lot better than I thought I was going to here. Drifting. Oh, oh. Stay off there. And right back to where we started. So I think we're going to hit up one more track. Throw this Mustang around a little more. And uh, have a little more fun. So I'll meet you guys at the next track. All right. So we're here at Lime Rock to finish this episode off. Nice little drift track. Definitely a fun little track, too, if we can't link this stuff. There we go. Hold that out there. Nice. Do that sec. Ooh, this Mustang, though, is definitely getting it. Didn't have the power, though, I don't think, to get there. Should have went down the second. This, I am in love with the way this car drives right now. Definitely for sure. New favorite drift car here on Forza Motorsport 6. Ooh! I think I need to uh, post this tune up for you guys. If you guys want to try this tune out, I'll leave it up after I finish ripping around here. I'll leave the tune up. I'll name it, you know, EVL uh, GT350R Drift. If you guys want to check out the tune, let me know. If you guys check it out, comment down below what you guys think about it. If you think anything that could be changed, let me know. Oh, threw that in way too hard. It is on, I believe, stock tires. But, I mean, come on. The proof is in the slides right now. This thing is definitely getting the slides. I'm going to rip it around do that place backwards. To end this episode off as well, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook. Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. If you like what you see, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate the support. We are almost there at 200 subs. So I'm looking to let's try and get 200 subs off this video, if not more, so I can do possibly another giveaway. Like I said, if you guys have any questions you want to ask me, comment them down below as well. I will answer as many as I can. Ooh. So that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 6. Like I said, I will leave this tune up. I will name it EVL GT350R Drift. If you guys want to check out the tune, if you guys have any constructive criticism or whatnot on the tune, comment it down below. Let me know what you guys think of it. As well, as you guys know, I appreciate you guys coming around. Don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe if you are not subscribed. I do appreciate the support. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk and shit.